Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. I'm so happy that you're here. I've had a lot of requests to show how I do my uh, snippet rolls, strips, whatever you're going to call them. <clears throat> but I've also had comments that, you know, uh, people don't have a sewing machine. <clears throat> Excuse me. It'd be hard to do. It's not hard to do. This, I've glued. Just glue. I did do a hand stitch there. I stitched on the Create uh, Metal tab. It's a Tim Holtz, uh, what are they called? Typed tokens. And then I also made a little hole and added a brad. And then everything else is glued on. And so nothing's going to come apart. You can cut it where you need it if you're going to make them into clusters. Like how pretty is that as a cluster? You know, or you can use this portion of it. This portion of it. You know what I mean? Or you can put it down the, the side of your page and have it as a tuck spot. You can use it as a belly band. You can cut it as wide as you need and use it as a pocket. I mean, there's so many uses for these and they're just fun and you can get rid of uh, fabric. You can use paper and fabric. You can use just paper, just fabric, but you know, it's nice to finish it off and add uh, some ephemera bits. And I put, uh, these are Tim Holtz flowers and butterflies and I added them onto there and it's just scrap pieces of paper or sorry, fabric. <laughs> And then I also have little bits, oh, I got all these fibers everywhere that I stamp on. And I just take my stamps and I stamp. Let the adventures begin. These come from, um, this is one of the sets from Global Land a while back. Watch, and I have some arrows and little tickets. And this is the fairy that we had stamped uh some more here and then a bigger one here and the nice thing about making these is you can make these strips as wide as you want this is from a sheet it's a bed sheet that i like to cut into strips and then use sometimes i'll cut them down to uh like one and a half inch strips one inch strips and then i stamp words and then i can just cut them out and use them like these you can stamp images cut them down and use them in your projects be nice just in a little cluster if you wanted and you can add a stamped image to it add it to a page and it's just a pretty element so I have some scraps let me show you my bag because it's uh there's my bag I have jeans in here cut up, ready to go. I have a skirt ready to go. But I just went downstairs and grabbed it. Sorry, just closed my door. And then I have I have just just stuff, strips of stuff here. The other um one that I had done, it's it's gone now. It's all used up. But I have like this little mesh stuff that's great to add on to. And I I found this strip with uh, numbers on it. Like, oh my goodness, these are awesome. But this is what it looks like. I had, it, I had received it in Happy Mail and I did not want to cut it up. But I decided I better. So, and we're going to use glue. I have my tacky glue. You can use that Fabra Tac, Fabra Fix, whatever that stuff's called, the three in one beacons, whatever works for you. I'm not going to use a uh, glue stick because I don't know that glue stick would uh, hold it down properly. All right, and then we're just going to start gluing. And I do it in layers. So let's just see what I have here. I tried to get ready as much as possible, and we're just going to use what I have here. So, and I have some lace, and I'm just, I'm just going to lay some lace down. And this is a, it's a stiffer lace. It's not like the, 
I don't even, it's come from a thrift store anyway. So I'm just going to, and this is just a base layer and then we're gonna build on it. But you can use fabric as, you know, if you want to use your different uh, colored fabrics. I wonder if I should just use one. I like the idea of it coming off the edge. Sometimes I have an idea in mind, other times that idea changes as I go. So I'm going to, I'm gonna have it off of the side just a bit, because if I don't know what I'm gonna use it for, right? And you can make a bunch of these together and then just um, finish them later. You know, you can have all of your all of your base layers done. And then as you use them in your journals, then you can dress them up. So whatever that looks like uh, to you. So I'm just going to start adding and I'm going to come in because I want to see a bit of that lace. And you don't have to have the lace there. It's just it's just a layer that I'm using right now. So just like that. And this may be different than what you've seen before, like other people. And like, I don't know, I don't have a formula. I just build. So I think I did, we did a video before on uh, these, but it's been quite some time. So right, and then you can add on a piece like that. I don't think I will yet. Let's just wait for that. You can do them color Christmas. If you have a theme, use, you know, those colors or your ephemera bits, whatever it is you're going to use. You can tilt them. It's just really, it's just getting it down. And I have this piece here. And I know it doesn't look like there's much uh, glue going down, but I will uh, glue the edges down as I need to. I'm not going to do it now, so. This is just to get started. But the fun part is the building on it. All of the pretty stuff. Um, I have, I have cheesecloth as well. So... Cut this down. Some of this fabric is so old it just tears like butter. And I like to overlap. And don't worry about the edges because they'll all get trimmed. If that's what you're going to do, you can just trim them all. And we're done. Uh, what else do I have here? Oh, I just used that one. I just have a little pile here. It's just, just sitting. Maybe I'm going to add that one to the end here. There we go. You can have your pieces fit perfectly in your uh, parameter of what you're making as well. It doesn't have to go over. I have little flowers, just all kinds of little things here. 
so let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna pop her there. But this glue is very good and I've not had any issues with it, so. Oops. Keep that. Pop it right there. You can get rid of all the little fibers if you don't like them. I don't mind them for now anyway. <laughs> And then I'm going to grab my bigger scissors and I'm just going to trim this off. that little guy get rid of this stuff and so there's that and so then I just went to the edges to the corners and then glued them down this one's folded up so it just needs a little bit of coaxing to come down and stay you can hand sew you know, just grab up some uh, some of your thread and a needle and just do some stitching on it if you want. But this is more for people who, you know, don't have a machine and maybe don't want to try it with just glue. And I'm just showing you that it will work without stitching. So there we have a base. So from here, you can start adding little bits of goodness. I have some ephemera bits, uh, Tim Holtz stuff, stickers. I, I don't really use stickers, but um, just papery things like you can stamp on this as well, but I just start laying things out. And if I like it, then I like it. And then I'll use it. So I know that's kind of big, but I actually like that. So I'll just add a few things. And what's in here? Big bird, he's really big. <laughs> smaller things oh sorry couldn't get it open if you don't like the seams here you can add little bits of uh, lace down there Oh, let's use this one. It's already inked. Just pop it there. So let's just add these few things. Tea cup and fan. Cute. And then once these things are glued down, they're not going to come up again. They're, they'll just be there. There you go. I hope I've been on screen all this time. It's a beautiful hot day in Camrose today. So it's wonderful. The sun is shining. 
And so there's a start. So I hope you guys are all doing good. I don't know if you've gone on holidays yet or you have plans to. And then again, these are just little, little bits of ephemera. Um, but really, you're you're uh, you're filling it up, and I'm I'm trying to think of you know where I might cut them, but not really, because it may end up one whole entire piece. Still, you know. Um, nope, I don't. I had a word here, excuse my reach, happy, I'll just put that down there. And this is just regular copy paper that it's on. Just like that. I think I'm going to put it there. And we'll add a charm to it too. And I'll show you how that looks. So I have... Uh, you can use bulb pins. I have these uh, black safety pins. I got those from Walmart. They sell them and they're pretty cheap. I have this little fairy... So instead of sewing it, I'm going to use the bulb pin. Excuse me, got glue all over me. Let's just see what that looks like. So this is just to get you started. I mean, we all I'm I'm assuming that you know we have fabric and glue and we can glue these things together and let me get my little this is a tiny little hole puncher. I'm just gonna put that in here just to get it started because it's, uh, the glue's wet, but that works beautifully to get it through. And then I can just bring it up. There we go, that's good. Worked better than I thought because the one part was a little thick. And so there's a little fairy, and it's funny how she, it looks like she's standing on the happy. <laughs> and so that's what we have so far. Oops. It's a little bare down there, but. Let's see if I have a butterfly. I'll find a butterfly that'll that will fit. Yeah. Small enough. Should have a few in here. Oh, there's one. Put a butterfly somewhere. Oh, I like it right there. Maybe one more for the other end. See what color I get. Oh, this one might work. There we go. So cute. The fairy looks like she's swinging. And you can stop here if you want, or you can keep adding to it. Oh, let's see what I have here. I have these little fabric flowers. But 
if you are going to sew, make sure you sew before you add on all of your, your metals or buttons, whatever it is you're going to use. Sewing machines won't like it. Oh, what else do I have here? I thought I had another little bit here. Hmm, let's see what's in here. I just saw this little stamp. In here and yes you can fill it you can just you can just fill it all with the goodness and the nice thing about this when you're using the bulb pins if you don't want it there you can move it somewhere else it doesn't have to stay in that spot Let's see, add one more. Hmm, come on, Brenda, pick a spot. There, I'll just pop it right there. And so there, so I can call this one done for now. And depending on where it's going to go, I can cut. That looks, that is pretty right there. And then it could be this bit, this bit, or this little piece. And then you can add to it as you um, put it into a journal. Let me grab one of my journals. Show you right now. move this aside grab a page just right here so you can put it down the side like this and then cut it the flower will be cut off but that's okay right and then you can have it as a tuck spot or it's a pocket whatever section that you like the most oh I like that <laughs> and that so it can be a top tuck oh I thought this journal was a lot fuller it could be a belly band in the middle it could be a belly band belly band long ways where you can pop something in like that so there's a few ideas for you So there we go. So hopefully you enjoyed that. I'm going to leave it there, but just gather up your pieces and the strips, like they're not very long, but the nice thing about doing them shorter, and it doesn't get so overwhelming then, and then you can add, you can just glue this end on and carry on and make them as long as you want. I got to show you this. These are made with rolling pins. So the center of the rolling pin gets removed and then these pieces are cut and then it is, a, a, a what do you even call these? I forget. <laughs> but anyway, Tracy made this one. But I thought these would be great to be added on and rolled up and then how beautiful would they be to store on these and she made me 12 of them so she sent me a picture showing me that she made 12 so I'm excited about that and so those would be great before adding like we like I had said before you add in all of your uh, ephemera bits and your metals and stuff like that just do your bases and keep them until whatever project and then dress them. That's the easiest way I can tell you and show you. So I never did tell you how long it was, 
So it is 12 inches, maybe just 12 and a quarter by two and three quarters. I did this one. The one that I did just to show you was two and a quarter and just 12 and a half. So they were all different um, sizes, but the width. But I've also, I'm going to just show you a few things that I've been doing with um, the snippets. And this, I just cut it to whatever size I wanted, and then I just layered on some laces. And so this is going to become a journal with the fabric pages. I've had it waiting to get done for a long time now, and I'm still not there. And, and then this, so something like this, this is gonna eventually be a pouch but once it's so it'll go like this i just have to do a center for it bring it down a little and then this will be the lid like this but how beautiful is it to have something like that on there you know This one, this is the one that we had done. Like, look at how gorgeous that is on there. So scrumptious. Anyway, that's just a few things that I've been doing. But yeah, so I hope you give these a try. You don't have to sew them. You can sew them. It's up to you. Don't, don't stress because you can do these. You can and they are going to be so stunning when you're done. All right. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. God bless, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.